Hi there and Merry Christmas. I'm Beth and before I start I want to say thank you to everyone who's been watching my daily advent videos along with J Dolls UK, Dolls Rescued and Peacecraft Dolls with Tammy Powley. I've been watching a lot of your advent videos as well and I wanted to thank March Payne, Serenata, Elise Explosion, Tiny Soul Whispers, Ink Pads Playpad and everyone else who has graciously linked or shouted out our channels. For today, I want to share a project that's been on my to-do list for ages, a Christmas themed doll room, like those made by Toya on My Froggy Stuff. The floor and walls of the room will be made from foam board and I'll be using some from this big box I got for Christmas last year. If you like how mine comes out and want to try it for yourself, you can come back and copy the measurements I made in this plan here. My foam board measured 33 by 23.5 inches. So this is how I laid out the shapes to make the best use of one sheet. The next room I make will have the walls all from one piece though, like a tri-fold board, as that would have been easier. I cut all my individual shapes out on top of a cutting mat. Here's the room loosely taped together. I trimmed a little off the smaller floor piece so it will fit better once covered. Here's how it will look when it's folded away. I bought this wrapping paper to use for the wallpaper. The pattern is The Strawberry Thief by William Morris. It's a nice thick paper and I think the busy pattern will make for a cosy looking room. I have this scrapbooking pad of 12 by 12 inch heavy paper. It's got pages with wood, some with doll scale plank sizes too. I'll choose one for the floor. Here's my wallpaper and floor. I'll wrap the floor sections up first using double-sided tape to hold down the edges on the underside. Both floor panels are covered. The smaller one will be glued to the two corner walls, leaving the larger one free to lift out fully. Then the other wall can be closed up like a book or binder. Next, I'll cover the wall panels. Again, if I'd remembered to leave these as one continuous piece, I could have papered across all three at once, but instead, I wrapped all three separately. I did make sure the pattern matched at each join though. I'm not a monster. I used a glue stick on the foam board to attach the paper, then wrapped the edges to the back and stuck them with double-sided tape again. Here's a quick height check of a doll against the wall and a template for the window that I'll cut in. My window is 10 by 15 centimetres and is 4 centimetres in from the edge and 7 centimetres from the top. This wall section is the one on the right that will swing open and closed. I push out the window and cut the waist into strips to make into a window frame. First I cut and glue some thin paper to cover the raw foam edges. I snip at the corners so it will bend and fold over both sides. Thank you. 
Once done, I then cut a plastic window from recycled packaging and stick it down. Now I'll glue on the strips I cut to make a frame. Looking good. Here I've hot glued the two corner walls together. You can see the left side butts up against the back wall. I'll hot glue them to the floor panel and then use sellotape to stick the right hand wall in place so that it can open out and hinge nicely. Here you can see that a little better. From the outside, there's a groove that the tape is tucked into. Next, I've cut long strips of foam board for the coving and skirting boards. I'll cut a groove and cover it with paper to allow it to bend. I'm going to make a fireplace for my Christmas room. The front is 10 by 16 centimetres and the opening is about 8 by 4.5 centimetres. I cut out the opening and try peeling away the paper from one side. I want to make a rough brick texture. I cut shallow slits into a rectangle shape to let it bend and I'll stick this round the opening. I cut two side pieces and sketch out my brick pattern in pencil. Next, I will use a ball tipped tool to press into the foam along the drawn lines. This will make the bricks look like they pop out a bit. I repeat for the sides and glue some scraps to help stabilize the shape on the inside. I kept the little cutout to glue back in later too. I paint the fireplace black as a base coat, but will come back and paint the bricks later. While that dries, I cut two pieces of foam board, 12 by 15 for the mantelpiece. I cover them with another piece of wood patterned paper. Next, I cut two pieces, 14 by seven centimeters, to make a base for the fireplace to stand on. I cover this in some nice black paper I had. Putting all the pieces together beside a Blythe doll, I realised it's too tall. I planned to leave room to hang stockings, but this is too much. I'll just cut off the top to make the fireplace 12 centimetres high instead. Here I've painted on coloured bricks and checked the room for this tree. I will add these little red lights to the fire and hide the battery pack under the mantel. Here's the setup from the back. Glued in and I've covered the lights in cling film, hot glue blobs and painted black cracks to mimic coal. I wrap another set of lights round the tree and cut a paper guard to go round the fire. 
Next, I add a garland round the wall, beads to the tree and other baubles too. Here's the glittery wreath from Marna at Dolls Rescued going on my wall as planned. I also want to make a foam board armchair. Here are my measurements. I cut the parts out separately, with the bottom being doubled up, and they look okay so far. I want to use this cosy tartan. It's real wool and should look very festive on a chair. Using cereal box card, I cut doubles of each piece and cut them slightly smaller than the originals. My plan is to wrap the wool round both templates, then sandwich them together so all the raw edges are hidden in between. I repeat this for all the chair parts, cutting little slits into the fabric to let it flex into the curves and cutting away any excess that I can. I can now glue the sections together. I didn't add any padding to the seat, as I will be putting a blanket over the back and making little cushions too. I didn't think it would really show up. To finish the underside, I make a new template and cover it with black cotton. I also glue rickrack trim to the sides and base of the chair to add detail. I'll make the legs from wood dowling and we'll make the front two a little longer so the chair tilts back ever so slightly. I hot glue these on and move on to making a floor lamp. The base is two buttons stuck together. The middle is doweling with a paper constructed holder at the top for the little bulb. I'm using this keyring type bulb I think I got in TK Maxx months ago. It will slip into this holder and I'll add a wireframe lampshade on top. My shade is made from vellum paper and I've glued some trim to the top and bottom. The rest is painted black and looks pretty nice now. I just love working lights in doll rooms. Here I've knitted a blanket for the chair, picked up a mug that had a cat eraser in it from WH Smith, and my schlich, my and my schlich model cat. Schlich, schleich, and my schleich model cat. I've also made some little cushions for the chair too, which I just need to finish stitching up.
I do hope you're enjoying this project so far. I'm really excited by how it all turned out in the end. I've been doing a lot of doll scale knitting again recently, so thought I'd include some toothpick knitting needles, which can actually knit, and a little ball of wool to go with them. I added a little paper band to hold it nicely. My last furniture piece is a side table. I used some balsa wood to make the top. These sewing clips hold everything nicely to dry. I added balsa wood legs too, with supports to stop them drifting akimbo. Once dry, I sanded everything and painted it with acrylic paint. Inspired again by Toya, I made some hot glue blob cookies. They are uh, varied in size. <laughs> Finally, it's time to see everything come together. Piece by piece, I assemble the room. I included a beautiful rocking horse I bought in a charity shop years back, and a world's smallest Barbie dream house. Also, this gorgeous red sleigh printed by Darren and Marna at Dolls Rescued. I used small pins to attach crocheted stockings to the mantle and included a jumper I knit on a coat hanger from Tammy at Peacecraft Dolls. I add a world's smallest Christmas elf, some hot glue stick painted candles and other dollhouse toys to the fireplace. I found printable Christmas boxes and wrapping paper online and they set the scene of presents being wrapped up. Here all the gifts are ready under the tree. It's even snowing outside, how cosy and festive. I put on all the lights and it looks even more cosy inside. Petite Blythe is the first awake and opens all her presents. There are four Blythe dolls in boxes, another printable I found online and put together myself. This cosy Blythe is wearing an elf on the shelf reindeer onesie that I altered to fit her better in the cuffs. Here's one of my middies, and my custom petite genie made by Marna. I love this tiny bunny, and Middy is trying out the hair scrunchie from J Dolls UK. Middy is the first to try out the chair. She looks good in it. Here's Akemi, wearing a hairband, jewellery set, bag and pin badges from our Advent collab. These badges from Tammy at Peacecraft Dolls look super cute on this bag from Jay. This made-to-move bodied Barbie was a lucky find for £2 at a local charity shop. She's wearing Marna's gold dress. She also fits perfectly in the armchair and helps herself to a cookie. More advent gifts being modelled by Sweet Sophia here, and I've used a Christmas stud earring with the stem bent as a tiny brooch for her to wear. Mandy is cosy in her crochet set by Jay and has another earring brooch on her jumper.
These shoes fit the OB22 body like a glove. This mug is a little on the large size, but it looks cosy held by the fire. My cat likes to help when I'm knitting too. What do you think of my jumper? I just learned how to knit in the round and make proper little jumpers. I think I'm working on number 10 now. I will try to make a tutorial sometime. I made Midi's little jumper too. Here she's trying out the rocking horse. Here's a closer look at these tiny boxed blithes. They're printed onto paper and folded and glued together. There's a little cut out doll who's stuck onto foam pads and then to the inside so she looks 3D and I've added recycled plastic as windows for the boxes too. I don't have links for these, I'm afraid. I saw them in lots of different places online and saved them to my Pinterest before printing. Elf and Petite are having fun with the sled, even the cats joining in. Well, I do hope you've enjoyed this. I loved putting it together, took about two weeks here and there. I'll certainly be leaving it on display over Christmas. Please leave a like and comment, let me know what you thought of it, and if you'll try making a room sometime. I hope you have a wonderful Christmas and holiday time, and I'll see you again soon. Bye!